Hey, Yonwald here, back again with a brand new video, and as you can tell, this time this is a modding video, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets a level design. I haven't made these videos in like a ridiculously long time, I think it's been four months now. I've basically been busy, but modding is fun, so I'm back now, and we'll basically be starting from where we left off last time. Which was this, basically. We had a couple of lovely, nice looking rooms. An awesome, beautiful little archway. Not really an archway, so it's kind of a square hole in the wall. But, just trying to keep things simple. And, that was cool. So you can go from one room to the other. That's lovely, but we're going to make this even better. This is Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter game, right? So it's about time we added some magic. And... That's exactly what we're doing this time round. We're going to add some magic into this game. So, we have our door here. We have a doorway here. It's a blank. It's empty. But we're going to make it less empty. We're going to actually add some, some proper doors in there. They're going to react to Alohomora. They're going to be magically opened. Sound good? Let's do it. So if you remember, this hole in the wall that we had here is 128 tall by 128 wide and it's 32 units deep. So what you want is something that's about half the width and fits you know, nicely in between. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a new brush here, right click your cube and you want a height of 128, width of 64 and a breadth of 60. If you build that, there you go, you should have it there, nice and easy. And what you want to do is you're going to bring that right down to the middle here of the archway. And because it's a little bit above the ground, I'm going to bring this down make it flush so it makes sense. There we go. So we've got that there. That's the first step done. The next step is also pretty pretty easy. In your left hand side toolbar here, you're going to click this button here. Add a mover brush. Add the mover. And if you move away this red brush in your top view, you should see the purple one here. If you don't know how to use this editor, if you don't know how to do all these things, I'll put a link down below. I did make a video about getting started, the basics and stuff. So it should be pretty easy. Now you've got this... Uh, this this nice mover here. Well, what you want to do is you want to do right click, movers, show polys. Now yours might not look like this. It looks like this for me because I already did this, like before. What you basically need is, if you select all the surfaces, if you click on one and do Shift B, it highlights all of them. And then you can go to your texture browser, open HP2 Master from your textures folder which is here, HP2 Master, there we go, and just look at the doors category, I was using this door here, which is exactly the right size, 128 tall, 64 wide, so it fits perfectly, uh, I'm just going to apply the texture again, just in case, and because this bit looks a bit funky, what you're going to do is, go to surface properties, go to alignment, and you've got here V and U. V is vertical and U is horizontal. We're going to align this, move this across like one unit at a time. And let's go. That looks kind of okay. That looks decent. You could probably find something better if you look through the textures, but this is, I think, the best I can do for now. There we go, without wasting too much time. We've got that there, and the next thing you want to do is you go to your top view on the side, or depending on your layout, you go to your top view. Uh, you want to right click this mover, go to movers, and we're going to set a key point. Each key point represents like where the mover is when it when it's opened or closed or different states. So that's that's how it moves. So if you click key one, and then you hold control and with the right mouse button just rotate like this and then you move it up here there we go so this is how it's going to be when it's opened okay 
And then you want to set this back to key... Key zero. Okay. Now you want to take this red brush, bring it over here again, do the same thing. And it's nicely aligned. You want to basically go add mover again. And I'm going to go show the polys and apply those textures again, just in case. So, apply texture blank door. There we go. And this one, you're going to go movers, much the same thing, go key one, rotate it this way, Ooh, and bring it up here, with the open state. Let me just do movers, show polys again. Okay, so as you can see, this is the same deal here. You want to fix this. Don't worry about this here. On the, that's not really there. If you go surface properties, and then I'm just going to do the same thing again. You can skip it if you want. It does take a bit of time. You can probably hear my mouth clicking furiously. Okay, that's what we had last time, pretty much. And then you're going to go movers and set it back to key zero. If you rebuild, there you go. It doesn't show the polys in them, but it never does in the, in the game anyways. Uh, it, it, no, it shows the polys in the game, but it never does for any uh, levels in the editor. So these are both, they both should be uh, opening the right direction. They're both there, that's good. And what you want to do now is we want to look hook this up to some some bit of magic, right? We want to trigger this, cast the whole aura, the doors open, we go through, done, right? So what we want is let's just move this out of the way. Let's give these guys a nice name, otherwise known as a tag. If you go to the properties, go events tag, we'll call these doors one, like so. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and the next thing you need is the actual spell trigger that sets these guys off. So what you're going to do is in your active browser you go and go under triggers, go further down, UW trigger, there should be something here called spell trigger. Pretty obvious name, right? So add the spell trigger here, from the top view you can see it's already in the middle, from the front view let's just bring it up. So it's actually right dead center there. And what we want is these this thing is going to set off our movers. So if we get our mover tags, doors, there we go. And in the events, let's set the event to the doors one. And as you can see now, it's uh, linked here. Oh, this is strange. Ah. Okay, I, for some reason I set the red one to have the same tag as well, but uh, that's uh, that's pointless. Okay, so the trigger is linked. It's uh, triggering these doors with that tag. What you want to do is in the trigger, go on the spells and make this vulnerable to Alahamora spell, right? And if you go on the trigger, Let's make sure this, uh, this only goes off once, so you can't keep using the trigger even after the door's been opened. So set that to trigger once only. There we go. And the mover as well, so if you go to the mover properties. Go on the object and make sure that instead of bump open timed, it's trigger open timed. The next thing you want to do is on the mover, you're going to go and change this so that Instead of returning, it will uh, just ignore Harry and it will just keep opening. So if, if you bump into it, it just, keep, it just keeps doing its thing, right? And stay open time, that's fine. You might want to also set this to trigger once only as well. There we go. So if you build the level, let's save this. I think that's everything. Let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Go 
go into our unworld hub again. Let's find our map. Tutorial 5. There we go. Is it working? Let's find out. It looks a bit dark. That's fine, you can add some more lights, I guess. And if we do this, nice. Opens just as you'd expect. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, let's get rid of his. So, there you go, guys. That's how it's done. Uh, new doors, new movers, and they react to the spell, as you'd expect. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.